Hello everyone, this is Arohi and welcome to my channel. So guys, in this video, I'll show you how we can train YOLO v7 on custom data sets. So guys, before moving to the practical implementation, I want you to know that there are two YOLO v7 models which have been released recently. One of them is, I have explained you that YOLO v7 in my this video, right? So this YOLO v7 is based on Detectron 2 and this YOLO v7 model accepts the data set in COCO data set format, okay? Now, few days ago, one more model, the official YOLO v7 model has been released and this is released by Alexi AB who is handling YOLO v4 and scaled YOLO v4 models, right? So this official YOLO v7 model is more accurate and faster than other models and it outperforms all neural networks in both speed and accuracy and for both uh, batch 1 and batch 32, right? And guys, this has the highest accuracy of 56.8% average precision among all known real-time object detectors. And guys, uh, yeah, you can study more about it and the paper is released. You can see that paper and know more about it. Today, I'll show you how we can use official YOLO v7 on custom dataset. So let's begin. So first of all, let me show you the repo, their repo. This is the uh, official YOLO v7 uh, repository, right? And you can see here, these are the different files and folders they have. And here is the graph. And from here, you can uh, see the paper, all right? And okay, so we need to clone this GitHub repo, okay? So, and uh, guys, uh, from here, you can see that this architecture the folders and these files are familiar because in yolo v5 also we uh, we are kind of use these kind of files only train test and detect then we have models folder and uh, this data folder right so now let me show you the data set which i'm using okay so once you clone the github repo you'll get this kind of folder okay and when you open it, this custom data set, this folder I have created and this folder have my custom data set. So let me show you the data set. So I have two folders in it, images and labels. When you open images folder, we have two folders, train and well. Under train folder, we are having training images. So guys, this data set, the, um, the problem which I'm uh, showing you today is this is an object detection problem. We are going to detect different traffic signs. So this algorithm is trained on four different signs. Okay. So these are the training images and inside valve we have validation images. In the same way, if you'll open labels inside this train folder, you are having the text files. The, these text files are uh, containing the annotation detail of every image. So guys, uh, you can see over here, our data set is in the format which official YOLO versions accept, like YOLO v4. What we does in YOLO v4, we have images and for every image, we have corresponding text file and that text file contain the annotation detail of that particular image, right? So in the same way, we are having text files, right? For every image. So this is my data set and this and this file, when you open this train.txt file, this file contain the list of all the images which are present in my train.txt uh, train folder. And this well, this is containing the list of all the images which are present in well folder. Okay. So this also I have placed in this custom data set folder. All right. And the number of classes which I have is this prohibitory, danger, mandatory and other. These are the four classes on which I'm working. All right. So now, so you can place your custom data set like this. After that, open this data folder. Inside this data folder, I have created this custom.yaml myself, okay? So what I've done is I've just copied, created the another copy of this coco.yml file and rename it to custom.yaml. And when you'll open it, I am giving the path of my train.txt file and validation.txt file and I'm writing the total number of classes I have and these are the name of the different classes okay so this you need to do this is the first change after that 
once you done that just go back out from this uh, data folder and go inside this cfg folder here we have three folders just go to training folder and inside training we have different yolo v7 configuration files so i have copy created another copy of this yolo v7.yml file and created my yolo v7 custom.yml file right so when you open it so i have changed the number of classes over here and rest, rest of the code is uh, will remain same okay and after that now let's come out from this cfg folder now guys here you can see we have detect.py file train.py file and test.py file this train.py file is responsible to train our model with the help of detect.py file we can uh, perform detections and uh, this test.py file if you want to see the average precision and average recall you know with that you can do with this test file okay and this yolo v7.pt uh, this i have downloaded from the um, official repo from here from here i have downloaded this file okay from here and now the next thing is now we want to train our custom model so for that I, that's it guys these are the changes you have to do after that let's go here let's come here i am entering in that folder after that i'm running a train.py file and these are the other parameters over here you can see i'm giving the path of my custom.yml file this file have details of like how many classes i have what are the name of those classes and where is my training data and where is my validation data okay so and this is the path of my configuration file right and name this this name simply means when you will execute your code right after uh, executing the training you will get a runs folder okay same as we get in this uh, yolo v5 under that you will get a train folder inside that this folder name the name which you want over here you can provide that name over here right it can be anything okay and this th these are the hyper parameters let me show you this also it is in cfg training and this is the file which we are using let's open uh no it's in data folder actually data this one let me open it and show you these are the different hyper parameters you if you want to change you can change these values from here okay so after that we are training and we have trained our model for 300 epochs and the results will be like this inside your uh, this clone github repo you'll get a runs folder inside that run you'll get a train folder and this folder inside this you can see the the results which we are having this looks like the results of yolo v5 right so we have a weights folder if you'll open the weight folder you'll see the best weights are this and these are the uh, best weights and these are the epochs right so these kind of things you will get and after that this is a confusion matrix on our um, uh, four different classes and here is a result you can see the results so these are the few batches from our training images right now let me show you how to test this model okay so for training this is the command now let's test our model so for testing our model we are using this detect.py file and source you have to provide the source like this on this you want to perform the testing and these are the trained weights so we have trained our model and we have those weights in run folder train and this this is the weight i'm testing on and after that this is the image on which i'm performing testing and this is the output right these are the classes detected okay Sy symbols uh, traffic signs detected here now let me show you one more image over here i'm working on another image and this is the result stored here this is our algorithm detecting right so guys this is how this official yolo v7 works so guys don't get confused there are two yolo v7 this is the official yolo v7 and the data set which it accepts is uh, like the official yolo's model right the another yolo v7 that 
is based on detectron 2 and it accepts data in the format of coco data set right so i hope this video is helpful thank you for watching